Today I'm going to show you how to put an event group on any object or building in the map groupos file. So here we are in editor and I've placed a cement works hall 2 brick at exactly zero pitch yaw and roll. I've also placed a crashed heli and I've placed three supply boxes. Could place more stuff but we're going to keep it simple here for the purposes of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and we're going to export this as an init.c. We're going to go into whatever folder you wanted to do it in. Uh, we'll name this the same thing except that I'm going to take off the dze part and just export. And we'll go ahead and open that up in Notepad++. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up this document. It's in uh, Documents, Daisy, Editor, and then whatever folder that you saved it in. I'll go ahead and open that up. And here it is. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and highlight just the spawn object stuff. And we're going to go ahead and copy that. Go to the Daisy Boosters website. And this is the new tool here under Converters and Event Group Calculator. And right here, you can put the uh, enter the group name, uh, which is optional. We'll just put group name. All right. I'm going to paste that right in there. And I'm going to click convert. And this here is our output code. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that output. And then go back over here to Notepad++ and paste that right there. All right, and next we're going to go back over to the Daisy Boosters website and we are going to go down here to where it says Mat Group Pause to Event Spawn. And here we're going to choose a group name Event Spawn Location. And then we're going to choose Livonia. And then it says here select building name. It's not just buildings, uh, it's anything that's on the Map Group Pause.xml. So what we're looking for is the Brick Hall, which is right there. And we're going to click Submit. So these are the four locations that are on Livonia for the Cement Works Hall 2 brick. So I'm going to copy this and take it back over here to Notepad++ and I'm going to paste it right in there. So the three files that we need to edit for an event group are number one, the events. Number two, we need the event groups. Number three, we need the event spawns. All right, so let's go over here to events. And I've got a few custom ones here, but what I'm looking for is train. So let's go down to the train and we're gonna copy that and then paste it over in this document that we're working on over here. So we're going to go boink. All right, so we're going to change the name of this to Static Brick Hall to, we'll call this Livonia. All right, now let's go over here to the event spawns and again, look for train. So these are all the train locations on Livonia. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And again, pull this back over to the document that I'm working on. And we're going to go to here. And this is going to be our event spawns. So I'll just type in spawns there and event there. All right. So what I can do is I can take this out. All of these are the spawn locations for these trains take those out and I'm going to copy that and paste it in there and then we can clean it up here a little bit all right so now we're going to name this static brick hall to Livonia and name this the same thing so that our event and our event spawn match now let's go to event groups here and uh, oh, here's the trains right here. So what we have here are all these are all the different train locations. So you need one for each one of these. Um, 
So let's go ahead and we've got the template here, but let's go ahead and copy one of these and pull it over here. So for the event group, this is our template up here, but we need to, to match more like this. So we'll go ahead and put this here. All right, so you can see here it has the location. It's in grab in here. And if I go back over to this other one, you can see here's another one in column Brody. There's another one, another, another one, another one. And so each one has a location. So how are we going to pull these locations up? Well, we're going to go to use good old eyes or vibe. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And we'll go over here and we'll open up eyes or vibe. Uh, we've got to choose the Livonia map. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. And we can see it is right here in Topolin. All right, so we'll just uh, we'll call that this first one here. We'll call that Topolin. Uh, and I guess we can name this um, Brick Hall. All right, so that's going to be called Brick Hall. I'm going to go ahead and just even though these aren't all Topolin, I'm just going to go ahead. And add all of those all right so we want the next location is i'm going to go ahead and copy that we'll go back over here and on this one we can see it's uh basically over here by the military near nadbor so we'll go back over here and we'll name this one nadbor and i'm not going to bore you i'll go ahead and do the other ones on my own here all right, we wound up with another one in Nadbor and uh, one in Sicknick, along with the one in Toplin there. So what we need to do next is we're going to go ahead and take this Brick Hall Toplin, this first line, and we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to just replace this data there, like so. I need another little hyphen right there, I do believe. All right. So we've got that and we're going to rename this one and put that as the group name here. All right. So in the document, this is going to be commented out. This is just to let you know where that's located out. And it's this data here is also going to be in the event spawns area. Speaking of which, speaking of the event spawn data down there, we can go ahead and replace this data down there with this. It's the same position numbers but we've renamed everything so let's go ahead and pop that in there and then again we'll clean this up a little bit all right and next we're going to go ahead and get rid of this old train data and we're going to replace it with this information here except we do not need the cement works because that is what we're putting this into on the map that's already on the map. So we don't want another uh, brick hall winding up on top of that one. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that there. So we're gonna need three more of these, just like that top one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste this information down there. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this over a little bit. And then we're gonna just, oh, let's just go ahead and copy this and put it under that one. And I'll go ahead and put it under that one. And I go ahead and pull it under that one. All right, so the other stuff that we're gonna need here is we're gonna have to copy, we'll just go ahead and copy all of that here and we'll paste it right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put another the comment here. And that's going to comment it out. So it's going to look like these other event groups. See how these are commented out. So that's just uh, tells you exactly where that's going to be located at and also where it's at in the event spawns. But we're going to have to also change this to Brick Hall Nadbor. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on these guys over here. like so, and I'll just paste none more there. And then we'll change the name of that here. And we'll change the name of this one, just like it is over there. 
And so we've got Brick Hall Nadbor, Brick Hall Nadbor 2, Brick Hall Sitnik, and then the Brick Hall Toplin, the original one up there. We're going to want to head and finish up these comments so we don't have any errors coming up later. And then, so what we do is we do the little arrow. We do an explanation point and a couple of hyphens, and that'll close that up. And we'll just uh, go ahead and you can always just copy that guy there and put that there. All right, so we've got the event groups here. All right, now we're going to talk about loot max and loot min. We have to decide what we want to put on these ones. Um, also, we want to think about the D loot. So if they want dynamic event loot, so uh, you know, so like better guns basically spawn in. So we're going to go ahead and turn the um, all the uh, these crashed helicopters, and we're going to go ahead and change all of those to D loot one. So I'll go ahead and I copied the other the D loot zero, and then I'm going to go back and change that to one, and I'll just go replace all of those uh, heli crashes with the D loot of one. All right, and then to figure out the loot max and loot min, we're going to want to open up the map group proto, and we'll go ahead and oops, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll look at this crashed M. I eight. All right, so we can see that it is has a loot max of 15. We can increase that for our, however many of these there are, but we're just going to leave, assume it's 15. We're going to go back over here and we're just going to say loot max 10. And we'll go loot min, we'll say five. Uh, next is the, sul the uh, supply boxes. All right, so on the supply box, we can see the loot max is eight on all of them. So we'll go back over to the document here and uh, we'll go ahead and let's just go ahead and change this one to eight. And we'll change that to, let's say four. And then we'll copy that and we will highlight that and control F define and then we're going to replace it with that and then replace all and there we go all right so let's get this put together a little bit let's start by taking this event here and go ahead and copy that and head over here to events and we're going to go ahead and pop that one in there um, we're testing right now so let's go ahead and get this uh, get a bunch of these in here there's four total so we'll go ahead and put uh, three, or let's go ahead and put four nominal and three minimum. Um, here we might want to change the infected. Uh, we'll go ahead and change it to, uh, why don't we go ahead and change it to infected, just regular army. Yeah. All right, so we'll change that to infected army. And we've got four nominal, three minimum. So let's start with that. We've got active one, that's good. And then we'll go back over here and let's go and put our event spawns in there. And we got made sure that this is named the same as that. So now we'll go over to the event spawns, which is there, head to the top. Go ahead and plop that in there, like so, and save it. And then we'll head back over here to this document and we'll go up to the event group entries. Let's go ahead and copy those and then get over to the event groups document and head up here to the top again and then paste that in there. All right, I've loaded everything onto the server and I have loaded onto the server. And here we are in Toplin and we can see there's the heli crash and we've got the uh, all the different supply crates. Looks like we've got a nice uh, grenade launcher there. We've got some soda pops over there. And then over here we got some mags and some parts. We've got some boots here and got some ammo and whatnot. So it looks like we're all set over here. Let's go take another uh, look at another one. All right, so here we are in Sicknick, and we have, again, we've got the heli crash, and we've got the uh, three supply crates. So it looks like we are all set on that. 
Now these files are available on my Discord. I've got this for uh, Cherneris as well. We've also got the Gray Hall, and that one has supply boxes on the inside here, and the Helicrash on the top. And then we've got the uh, brick here as well for Cherneris. And we can see the three boxes are on top, as uh, is the Helicrash. You'll be able to find these files both on my Discord and the Daisy Boosters website on the community tab. Thanks for watching.